I love this amp and I want to build one that's very similar to it. Inside this amp, we've got um, an op amp, which is a TL072, which is powering this thing. I've built a circuit, which has got a TL072 inside it and LED clipping. And I'm also going to be able to attach to this a treble, middle, bass, volume, and gain. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, which is why I'm experimenting with it. This is a Marshall Governor um, circuit. And I'm just going to plug it straight into a, a speaker and see if it sounds anything like one of these little things does. And if it does, then I'm going to build one of these out of wood and bits and bobs that I find. And I'm going to have my little potentiometers on top, a little bit similar to there. I want an input. I want a headphone jack. Um, this one's got a tuner. I'm not going to do a tuner. But what I'm going to do is going to make a speaker output. So I'm going to have an output there to get an insulated uh, jack. I'm going to have it battery operated and I'm going to have a DC 9 volt. I'm not going to have an aux in. Um, that's all I'm going to have. That's all the controls I'm going to have on this little thing. So I, I do find I use this quite a bit to practice on. Um, it's at low volume and it's kind of cool. All right, let's experiment. Okay, so um, what I've done now is basically got an LM386 uh, chip, chucked it down on this um, breadboard, and then I've hooked it up with a few electrolytic capacitors. There's this three 100, 100 UF capacitors, one a 1NF um, film capacitor, a 10K resistor in there. Um, that's basically our amplifier, which is going to run run the cleans. It's just going to run the speaker, basically. Um, there's going to be no volume on it, it's just playing at maximum. Um, the volume control is going to be on my effect here. Um, I'm going to somehow work out how I can get this as a master volume. I'll probably stick the master volume on the uh, on this part of the circuit rather than being on on this bit of the circuit. Um, so what have we got? We've got the Marshall Governor circuit going into an LM386 circuit to a, a little portable speaker. Um, my Marshall Governor's going to be triggered by this stomp switch again. Again, I'll compare it with this little orange one as well. Um, I'll just tilt this just to be fair on the orange one. So once again, that's me clean. It's a little bit crackly, but you know, it's a shit speaker, so. That's probably as clean as you're going to get it. All right, I'm going to turn on my Marshall Governor. So this is what my um, little speakers are going to eventually sound like. I'm just going to plug the orange in just so you can hear the kind of comparison. So the orange is at full volume as well.
So basically, I mean, in the orange one, it's got this kind of boxy feel because it is like enclosed in a in a wooden box. I think once this one is enclosed in a wooden box similar, it will have a similar feel to it. Um, at the moment, it's just, you know, as it is. So basically, I'm happy with that as a sound. What I'm going to do now is amalgamate this circuit with this circuit into one long Vero circuit that we can basically get inside a, a structure like this. We're going to mount, we've got our five pots that we're going to mount on the top. I'm going to have a little design as well. All good. Let's get going. So just open up the back of this um, mini orange amp just check it out and everything just uh give it a look see how i can get some uh, inspiration on how to maybe make mine uh on opening it i just noticed that the uh, speaker used is um exactly the same as the one i've got here but they've just got an orange sticker on it which is weird um it's exactly the same um speaker Yeah, so um, it's going to be kind of like a, a bit of a like for like sort of model, really. Um, I'm just thinking I want to get like a a 9 volt battery in it, obviously, because I want it to be portable. I don't want to have to plug it into a wall. I want to be able to use that out in my garden. I was thinking of... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do do some other things like a speaker input as, as well. So anyway, there's that. I'm going to do some measurements. All right, so I uh, finally finished this project that I was doing. This is the mini amp that I've made. I literally just found wood, like wherever on the street and stuff, and just made it. I got this really nice mesh uh, from a guy down the road who's just he works at like a fabric shop and he just gave it to me but it was absolutely perfect for making the front baffle of um of the amp here um obviously i haven't finished it off I, I i burnt the box just to give it a nice burnt look i've got these nice chrome knobs yeah i just think that's nice and then um i just you know i burnt it just to give it a, that look it's got an on and off switch the uh jacks here the dc jacks here it's just got a light say on and off it's very very basic but what i'm just trying to achieve is is an experiment to see if i can kind of amalgamate you know a, a really heavy distortion pedal inside um a power amp circuit what i ended up doing with this is i've used three circuits i've used um so you see so guitar comes in and it hits a clean boost. I like a clean boost. It's like a, a sprinkling of sugar on top of your distortion. So before anything else, your signal's boosted. Then it hits the preamp stage, which is, in all intents and purposes, uh, L, uh, TL0772 chip, which is inside a Marshall Governor circuit. Um, the Marshall Governor circuit has got a volume, bass, middle, treble, and gain, which is ideal for this amp. So I've got controls on my amp from the preamp stage. After the preamp stage, I've got um, an LM386 um, power amp circuit. Again, big up pull in the lab. Um, I went on his um, website, he's got a few different amp circuits where you can just power a speaker. That's all I wanted to do is power uh, a 4 ohm speaker. And his circuit did that beautifully. I'll put links to all three circuits. One of the, the boost circuit is my own circuit. Um, so I think there's a link to my Instagram page where there's um, a little Vero layout of that. What I'm going to do eventually is make a full circuit of this um, and, and start, you know, maybe making, having a go at making some different amps. I, I'd like to, to do one of these amps with a HM2 circuit in. I'd love to do an amp with um, a really heavy uh, transistor fuzz inside as well. Um, there's so many different options that you could go for to, um, 
to make some really cool mini amps. Um, I think it blows the arse out of the orange one. I, I really do. I think it's louder for a start. Um, yeah, it just sounds better, I think. Um, I'm going to do a little comparison just to prove it. So I use the measurements of the orange, you know, here. And uh, I'm literally just gonna put them on my desk. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mic them up. Um, I'm literally gonna leave them like this, and I'm gonna play them. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play them through my SG. Okay. Okay. The first thing you'll notice is it's fucking loud, right? It's loud, and it's really. There's a lot of buzz on there. That's something that it needs to clear up. I mean. I'll, at the end of the video, I'll open up the actual amp, and you can see inside it. You'll see what a mess it is. It's just it's, it's an experiment, you know? It's just an experiment. I'm not making this to sell, or I'm literally just experimenting with an idea. So I'm going to give you a clean tone out of this thing now. now it's got a lot of bass on this thing. So that's that one, and now I'm just going to plug it into the orange so you can just hear what this one sounds like. That's a full volume as well. Basically, I'll show you how I made this thing. Now this just, this just comes off. 
it's just blue tags on. Glamorous, I know. So, that's it. That's what I did. I'm gonna hold that up to you. You know, that's what's inside. You know, this is the, uh, this is how I made it. I just made out, found some strips of, of wood, did it with a glue, not a glue gun, actually just some hobby glue. Stapled the baffle on. You know, basically just made a frame out of wood. You know, that's the, uh, that's the op amp circuit. That's the, uh, the uh, Marshall circuit and that's the booster circuit down there. There's actually a crocodile clip in there as well. Just because like, I don't know, some shit wasn't working and I just wanted to uh, make it work for this video so you could see it. So yeah, basically that's just, you know, all you need is a hacksaw, a ruler, some glue. Um, and you can make one of these. And you know, I don't know if you're at college or something like that. This is a brilliant fucking college project to do. You'd get a straight A for this if you did it properly. Um, I'm sure. So there it is, yeah, make yourself a bloody, make yourself a, an amp, get yourself a straight A, guys. So yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah, like I say, this is just a, this is just a shitty old thing. That's why I burnt it, just because it just looks like crap. So, um, you know, it works, it's an idea. The next one I make will be absolutely finessed beyond belief, you know, and it'll have a really, you know, quiet circuit in it. But I've got an idea as to, to how this will, will sound and how it'll sound with this type of speaker um you know the next thing is to uh make one with a with a bloody tube inside i don't know anyway thanks for watching this video give it a like and um i'll be back next time i'm looking at a fuzzy reverb for next time a fuzzy reverb um and then after that i'm gonna have a look at a dub delay um so i've got some exciting projects coming up um Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Cheers.